guys, it's Morgan, and I'm looking a bit rough today. Um, it's kind of late, and it's a Tuesday night. I should be writing a three-page essay, but I had to film this video and get it up for you guys. I'm going to try and upload at least once a week from here on out. So, decided I would film this video and upload it during the week so then I can have another video on the weekend. Um, yeah, today's video is going to be about cleaning my makeup brushes. I hope everyone out there cleans their makeup brushes. It can lead to acne. It's just really dirty. And just like not very great. Um, I'm going to be honest, I'm not good about cleaning my makeup brushes. And I don't think anybody is. But um, I do make sure to try and clean the brushes that I use every day at least once a month. Um, that sounds like a long period of time, but yeah, I try and make sure that my brushes are for the most part clean. As you may know, I am trying to switch out all my products to cruelty free, and um, one of the products that I did used to use to clean my brushes was a face cleanser by Neutrogena, and Neutrogena is not cruelty free, so... I had to find a new one and I was actually offered to be sent this cleansing gel from Real Techniques and I love Real Techniques. Their brushes are amazing. I don't have a lot but I do have a few and I use them every day. So um, I accepted the offer because of free product to do a video about it and share it with you guys. If it is a product that is cruelty free, Real Techniques, God bless, they're cruelty free. Um, I decided I would go ahead and share it with you guys because I did try it out. I'll insert some demos here about how I clean my brushes and it worked great. It was just as good as the Neutrogena brush. It left my white or well brown brushes white again and I don't know it worked really well I didn't seem to have any problems with it and if you're looking for a brush cleanser um, this one is not too pricey at all and they're cruelty free cruelty free that's a big plus for me but, um, anyways yeah I always make sure to try and clean my brushes it's just one of the steps you can take to make sure your skin is looking good on the back of the bottle it says use weekly um, I don't see myself doing that I actually I try and um, clean my beauty blender at least like once every two weeks because that tends to get really dirty fast and I'm using it every day to put on like foundation and concealer so basically all you have to do is squeeze a drop of gel into your the palm of your hand take your brush swish it around I have some demos um, I filmed so that will be right here but swish your brush around in your palm and it's so satisfying to see all the makeup come off of your brush maybe that's just me but I find it so satisfying <laughs> and just cleaning things like okay Wait, that was kind of hypocritical because I'm a dirty person. But um, cleaning things that like are supposed to be white but look brown um, and getting it white again, that is so satisfying. I run it underwater. I make sure to never face the brush upwards but always down so that the water isn't getting into the handle. It just makes your brush last longer. And then I run it underneath the water. I squish the bristles a little bit and then I take a towel. I kind of swirl it around to dry it. Then I like I have a demo of it. I kind of like put the towel in the brush reshape it if that makes sense there's gonna be a demo and that's basically how I clean my brushes um I've seen a few of these kind of videos on YouTube I haven't done a video about it and I was sent this product and I really like it actually it's not expensive they're cruelty free and it worked great I mean it did the job so yeah if you're looking for a brush cleanser you don't want to spend too much money well, that was sort of a short video, but just an extra video for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure to leave me a comment of any cruelty-free products you like because I'm always looking to try out new products. I hope you enjoyed my little um, undone look today. I'm just chilling at home, doing some homework. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and leave me a request for a video down below. I have a lot of video ideas going around. If you want to see a Q&A, let me know because that's one of the videos I'm planning on filming later this week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!